Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to discuss our carbon absorbing wall, or the acronym we use is a CAW. All small audio rooms have low frequency management issues. Unless you're fortunate enough to have 30, 40 foot dimensions, then you're gonna have low frequency issues in the room, especially if you're using the room full range, drums, um, bands, instruments, most instruments are full range except voice. So we're gonna have low frequency management issues in almost all of our, our smaller audio rooms. So what are what's our first line of defense against these unwanted low frequency pressure issues? Well, our first line of defense is to choose a room with the proper room size and volume. Now, proper room size and volume goes a long way to minimizing the unwanted uh, low frequency modal issues, but does not solve them. So our second line of defense then is to insert low frequency management technology in the room. And in order to accomplish that, we have two options there. We can use freestanding units, which we sell on our website, the ACDA series. Or if you're retrofitting and building a new room, we can actually build the technology into the wall. Now, the beauty of that is that we can tune the actual location of the room to match the frequency and the amplitude of the problems in that room, because not all places in the room have the same frequency and amplitude problems. And our ACDA-10 and ACDA-12 technologies incorporate two frequency response that we see in 99.9% .9 of the room, and that's the 30 to 50 cycle range and the 30 to 200 cycle range. So we have two technologies that we can work with in our small rooms. If we're going to build the technology into the walls, which is the big advantage because we don't take up floor space with freestanding units, we can frame the room out and build the technology into the wall. As you can see in this graphic here, the beautiful thing about it is we don't take up any space in the room and we can use the stud space as diaphragmatic absorbers. The stud spaces themselves are the size of the diaphragmatic absorber. Then we have the rear wall and the front wall. If we control the density of the front wall, control the space in the cavity itself, then we can manage the frequency and amplitude of the issues within that wall. So it's a way to tune and manage low frequency energy every 14 and a half inches, if you will, in a 16 inch center uh, framed in wall. Now we can do two surfaces at a time at a minimum. So we can do floor and ceiling as shown in this graphic. We can do the four walls as shown in this graphic here. It just depends on the usage of the room and how much energy we're gonna put in. But the beautiful thing about this technology is that we can build it into the structure itself and we can do it all in a two inch by 12 inch framed requirement. Beautiful thing about this for middle and high frequencies is we can add our proprietary foam technology into the wall cavity itself on top of the faceplate. Stretch fabric across it, you've got a nice broadband or frequency specific absorber in the right location of the room. So the beautiful thing about this technology is we can get it out of the way and we can tune it. Now we tune it by varying the density of the face plate that goes on over the cavity, the thickness of the carbon filter itself, and the depth of the cavity. So we have three tools that we can use and we assist you with that when you install the technology. So our carbon absorbing wall is a way to maximize low frequency absorption where it's needed at every spot and every place in the room without having a lot of freestanding units uh, sitting around in the room taking up space because our rooms are too small. Thank you.